All right, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and fix up our guild bands implementation because right now we still have a couple of problems. So let me go ahead and ban a couple users. So I'll ban this user. I'll ban this user. I'll ban this user. And I'll ban this user. So let me refresh the page. Okay, so right now, if I were to unban one of these users, you'll notice that the state on the front end does not get updated at all. So it does, in fact, unban the user successfully. If I were to look on the Discord server, you'll see that Vein, which I just unbanned, is gone. If I were to unban Testbot2, that would also disappear as well. So the ban actually, the ban functionality actually works but the state UI is not being updated. And what that means is that we can actually right click the cards as many times as we want to call the API. Now that API call will fail because we already unbanned the user already. So there's no user to be banned on the Discord side of things. So Discord just can return uh, like some kind of like uh, invalid, um, it's gonna return like a 400, I think, right? But obviously we don't want to just do that we want to also handle state updates as well because that's good practice so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and whenever we update or not update whenever we unban a user we're going to update the ui by doing this okay what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually fetch the latest guild bands every single time and what that will do is that will pretty much update the state ui with the latest non-stale data some of you might be thinking well because we have bands as an array, right? If I go to guild bands page, we are rendering out this bands array, which is fetched from the API, right? Like you're probably thinking, can't we just update the bands array by removing uh, the value or removing the specific band that we just that we just unband the user for? Now you could do that, but I personally think it's better to just get the latest data from the API. Because you might run into an issue where you're unbanning a user from the dashboard and then some other moderate, moderator might be unbanning like two users from the Discord server, right? And so if you just update the ver if you just update the, the array without actually fetching the data again, well, you might run into data that is just stale. So you might run into a situation where you might have a user that you didn't unban, right? But that user card is still on the UI, but another moderator, like another user from the Discord server, uh, must have banned it. Or, yeah, must have unbanned the user. Hopefully that makes sense. But don't think so much about it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our guild bands page. We're going to go into this use fetch guild bands hook that we created. And what we're going to do is we're going to create another state variable. And I'm going to call this updating set updating. And the value of this is going to be a boolean, and we'll set it to false by default. You can set it to true if you want to. It doesn't really matter because the value of this variable have, has no significant meaning because the only thing that we're going to be using this variable for is just to control the use effect hook being called whenever this value gets updated. So if you're not familiar, basically the use effect hook takes in two parameters. It takes in a callback function, and optionally, it takes in a dependency array. The way the dependency array works is whenever you add a state variable to that dependency array, it basically listens to updates for that value, right? So if I were to add updating the variable to the dependency array, what would happen is whenever the value of updating changes, it's going to go ahead and execute the use effect hooks callback function again. So every single time updating changes, it's going to go ahead and execute the callback function again. So what we're going to do is whenever the unban is successful, we're going to call set updating. So we're going to update the state variable of updating. And what will happen is that will cause the use of a cook to fetch the updated guild bands list. And we're going to get the latest values. And that's just going to be rendered to the UI. Okay. So instead of just modifying the array, which is not going to give us the latest uh, latest updated values, right? We're just going to go ahead and fetch the latest data again. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and at the bottom, we're going to return 
whoops, updating and set updating. And we're going to go into guild bands page and we're going to go ahead and just grab those two values. Okay. And let me actually just remove this error because we're not using that variable. Remove the error variable. Okay. So now that we have got updating and set updating, all we're going to do is whenever the API call is successful. So if we were to call the uh, delete guild band endpoint, if it fails, it's going to throw an error and we're going to catch it down here. So if it's successful right underneath, we'll go ahead and call set updating and we're going to pass in the negated value of updating. So currently on the first render, updating will be false, right? We'll just pass in not updating, which will be true. And then if we were to unban a user again, it will just always pass in the negated value. And the reason why we do that is so that we can actually just cause the callback function to execute every single time we successfully unban a user. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what happens. So let me go ahead, go to my UI. If I were to unban the user, see how we saw the spinner spinning, right? And the reason why the spinner was spinning is because right over here, we execute the user effect hook again, which meant that it went through this whole logic. It called set loading and set loading. Uh, it, the variable loading is used to load the spinner. Okay. And then we called get guild bands. If the API call was successful, we set bands with the latest data. And if there's any errors, we caught it and then we set the we set the value of set error. And then finally, we set loading to false. And then we can see that it's rendering out uh, the latest ban. If I were to unban this user, you're going to see that there's no bans available anymore. Okay, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and fix up a couple of stuff. Let me go ahead and remove this line over here, which is just rendering out the username. That's not really useful. And I will also fix up this code a little bit. So instead of just doing a... Uh, bands and not loading because bands is always just going to be an array uh but it'll either be an empty array or it'll have at least one element so what i'll do instead is i'll just make it so that if it's not loading uh if it's not loading we will do this so if it is loading it's going to go ahead and render the spinner but if it's not loading what we'll also do is we'll add another condition so right over here i'll go ahead and do if bands.length, so bands.length is going to be a numeric value. So if the value is zero, that's going to be a falsy value, which means what I want to do is I want to render some text that says no bands. Okay. So if bands.length is one or is, is one, that will be a truthy value. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and render out uh, bands.map. So we are the uh, curly braces okay and then so this is just going to be a basic ternary operator okay so let me go ahead and add a div at the end and let's go ahead and just write no bands okay so basically if bands.length is truthy right which means that if there's if it's if it's one or greater if there's at least one element in that array it's going to go ahead and call bands dot we're going to call bands on map and dynamically render all of the bands but however if bands dot length is zero which means it's a falsy value we're just going to render no bands which you're going to see uh let's see what's going on here why is it rendering zero okay yeah i don't know what was going on i didn't really change anything but it seems like that fixed it. yeah i was so confused but okay it works now that's fine all right, let's go ahead and ban some users again. Okay, we can see that the users pop up. Unban. And then unban. Perfect. There we go. So that's pretty much how we can update the state of the bands array. So now we have the latest updated bands from, our, from the Discord API. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to leave a like down below. And I'll see you all in my next episode. Peace out.